how much protein do you really need to build muscle and what's the optimal amount of protein to have when trying to lose weight? There are so many different opinions on this topic and these opinions have changed over time. Uh, and for example, many bodybuilders back in the 70s and the 80s believed that the higher your protein intake was, the more muscle you would build. And right around this time, doctors were on the complete opposite side of the spectrum um, in relation to their opinion. And they were saying that consuming a very high protein diet would lead to major kidney damage and irreversible negative changes. Both of these ideas have since proven to not be true. Protein is made up of amino acids, which are the building blocks to muscle. However, just by having more protein, that doesn't mean that you're going to have the opportunity to build more muscle. In fact, if you overdo it on the protein, you can store it as fat, just like any other macronutrient. Since protein is the building block to our muscles, we don't want to have too low of a protein intake either, because this macro is obviously necessary to synthesize the new muscle tissue and to repair already broken down muscle tissue. The recommendations for protein intake vary very largely depending on who you ask. Some bodybuilders to this day believe in a very high protein intake, like 1.5 or 2 or even 3 grams of protein for every pound of body weight. These very high recommendations for your protein intake are slowly getting phased out because plenty of new research shows that it's not just necessary to have that much protein. And in fact, having so much protein can make you have to cut calories from carbs and fats to balance out your daily totals, which could affect your hormones very negatively. And that alone could stop you from building muscle and losing weight at the optimal rate. There are also other recommendations where they say that the highest amount of protein that you should have per day is 0.6 grams for every pound of body weight. Even though I think this is a totally acceptable recommendation for someone that isn't very physically active, I also think that this recommendation is totally unacceptable for someone that does weight training and is actively trying to burn fat or build muscle. The whole point of weight training is to purposefully try to actually break your muscles down. So obviously when you're trying to do a proper weight training program, you'll require more protein than the average person to repair the damage that you're doing on a weekly basis. So with all that said, the ideal recommendation for protein intake is 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight and a maximum of maybe 1.2 to 1.3 grams of protein per pound if you're incredibly physically active and you're breaking down those muscles very frequently. If you are incredibly lean, like I'm talking about under 6% body fat, you may want to go with a higher protein intake per pound of weight because the majority of your weight would obviously be muscle mass in that scenario. On the flip side, if you have a lot of body fat and you're probably going to be better off with going with the 0.8 grams for every pound of body weight because obviously a lot of it's fat. When you're trying to build muscle, you typically won't need more than 1 gram of protein per pound of weight. When the goal is to build muscle, even though carbs and fats are not the building blocks to your muscles, they are extremely important to spare muscle tissue and to help increase your strength to ultimately help you build more muscle tissue. For weight loss, however, it's a little different and you have to understand why high protein diets are so effective at helping people lose weight fast. At the same time, you have to also understand that even though a very high protein diet is very effective for fat loss, it's not an optimal strategy to stick to very high protein diets over the long run. So the reason why for weight loss, especially for like aggressive fat loss where you're trying to lose a lot of fat fast, the reason why high protein diets are so good at getting it off fast is because protein has enzymes in it that are difficult for your body to digest and your body will use energy, aka calories, to digest that protein source. Meaning anywhere from 20 to 30 percent of the calories from the protein source that you eat will be used in the digestion process. So if you have, let's say, 100 calories of carbs and 100 calories of protein, you're going to wind up with all the calories from the carbs, but with the protein, you're going to wind up with about 70 to 80 net calories. This means that you could do a high protein, low carb, low fat diet with a higher total amount of daily calories and still lose more weight faster than a diet that would be lower in protein and higher in carbs and fats. 
The other benefit of protein when trying to lose weight is that protein is very filling. So you won't be quite as hungry when you're cutting the calories. So you might be thinking, well, why don't I just go with the very high protein diet then? If I'm trying to lose weight after all, why don't I do that? Even though you can do that for a short period of time to lose weight and fat faster, I wouldn't recommend sticking to a super low carb or low fat diet for longer than four to six weeks. And that's because carbs and fats both affect important hormones like testosterone and estrogen and even cortisol. So for, excuse me, so for that reason, you want to always rebalance your macros even if you do decide to do an intense high protein cutting phase. The balance that you want to shoot for is about 30% of your diet coming from protein and the rest of your dietary calories coming from fats and carbs. Make sure to never drop your fat intake for the day lower than 20% for an extended period of time. And by the way, you can totally get shredded with a ba balanced macro split like 30% protein, 40% carbs, and 30% fat. It's just that your total daily caloric intake will have to be lower than a super high protein diet. Even though you'll have a lower caloric intake, at least you won't have to deal with the negative effects on your hormones. Very high protein diets can work very fast and you can go that route as well, but I highly recommend that you don't do it for longer than six weeks unless you're like super carb sensitive and you're trying to get into you know bodybuilder shape. That's it guys, I really hope this video has helped you guys out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to this channel to see more tips and tricks just like this one. I'll see you guys next time. Pump it.